now, from high above the start-finish line at Ontario, here is Ken Squire. Covering a city block in less than a second. Who will take the lion's share of $180,000 as it roars into the first turn and they begin to shuffle down the back straight away. It is a two-car joust. And now moves in to appropriate the lead. Into turn three, he fireballs his way into the lead. Goes out in front by one, two, three car lengths. Here. It is a game of improvisation being played its very best right now. All the leading car owners, the patrons of the art are here today. <laughs> Talk about a choo-choo train. And look at that Oklahoma land rush back there. It is going to be a land rush to decide the Daytona 500. It's down to the inside every so often to scoop some fresh air into the automobile because the gauges begin to roll around and get red and rosy out there. The gauges just get red and rosy out there, and you have to watch them all the time. Lincoln car thrusting that machine back in front. Sticks it right in there out of turn number four. He may have shot his arrow a little too early here. Earnhardt retiring. The engine caves in on car number two. His car turning out to be a smoker, and that may indeed impair his health for this race. That is Donnie Allison, his engine erupting up here. Johnny Utsman hand grenades the engine. It detonates right at the start-finish line as the hopes of Johnny Utsman go up in smoke. The engine tortured at car number 27 and beginning to give up. The heart of the car beginning to go. And now he begins to ache, he begins to hurt. Hard. And you can see A.J. Foyt's red machine up against the wall still smoldering a bit. But if they touch at 190 miles an hour, it's good night nurse. We've had a rash of yellow fever here today. There you see the Marcus car coming in on the hook. Marcus hopes have evaporated today. As he comes around through where the Holocaust took place in turn number four. Following him, it is a Holocaust. Seven, eight, nine automobiles smashing. Jody Ridley crashing into the infield. Spinning, splashing their way Bobby down through. And his car slithering and sliding down in turn number four. Slipping, sliding through cars. And it's shoot and scoot from here, David. Neil Bonnet, a stout and steady third out here. Allison resting beautifully in third. This is one beautiful driver. Laps beginning to unravel in this magnificent race. Getting some air, gobbling it up into car number 88 to keep the engine cool for that final assault. Is about to make his assault on Donnie Allison. A kamikaze attack. We have our own Banzai pipeline here today, and it's the start-finish line of the Daytona Speedway. Like bullets, they propel themselves out of the corner. And here comes the avalanche, spilling down into the first turn. Now they peel off like a squadron of fighter planes through the slower Whoa. machines. Oh, Bonnet almost getting pushed out. Bonnet comes to the inside in a slower car. Look at Bonnet looking for room. He can't find it. He's in the box. To move down. He is caught. He moves into the middle. He goes right through the buttonhole, through the eye of the needle. He's still trapped. Heavy traffic, beautiful driving. Draws a bead on the checkered flag as he storms out of turn number four at over 190 miles per hour.